Hello, and welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Terraforming Mars Solo Challenge. Today happens to be Christmas for me. I was able to slip away just for a little bit of recording, so we'll see how this goes. I haven't played Aphrodite in a few rounds, neither have I played Inventrix, who is slightly buffed because their uh, passive extends to Venus. This is not very inspiring, though. At least mining rights um, and mining area could be played side by side. Mining quota might be playable. I'm just wondering if we want to go for space tags and some titanium. I mean, we could play for with space haven, but even if you get 11 titanium, like, have you really paid off a $28 investment? You know, it's, it's pretty... Uh, it's pretty not great. There is aqua for pumping as well. If you could grab that along with all this metal income. Uh, Aphrodite or Inventrix? I might take the Inventrix. Just go for a kind of chillin' start here. Still grab some of these. But yeah, it's like that way we'll get three extra card draw. I do plan on putting my mine over here for the steel. Just because I can put the two mines side by side. So, uh, did we get our three cards yet? No, this is still the pre-phase. So, let's go for two card draw. So, we just picked up a ton of cards. Let's see if any of them are viable. Not really. Just the fusion power, if we can get some tags for it. So, we will start by playing a mining rights for two steel. Um, and then we'll use that two steel to play a mining area. So you got two mines side by side for two steel income. The importance is that if you place on this two steel rather than that two steel, where you're adjacent to this card in the future, which can be pretty nice. Uh, we don't have anything to accumulate floaters yet. I might just do a mining expedition for the TR. We get a little bit more steel out of it, and then we'll go to the next gen. Pretty weak first turn. Sometimes I would re-roll a game like this, but like it's fine. It's fine. We don't want to do any ocean since we have aquifer pumping. Um, I'm not sure that any of my cards really have a requirement. I'll just push a little bit of Venus. Some more Venus bumping here. Some more science tags there. All this stuff is a little too expensive and out of the way for me right now. Not really looking to make a Jovian play. Um... So yeah, do we just aquifer pump right away? I'm unsure. We will be needing a Venus tag, actually, I'm realizing, for mining quota. Not a Venus tag, a Jovian tag. Um, I'm not sure that it's worth playing anything right now. I could aquifer pump, but I'd rather wait for orbital, orbital thing, and I'd rather get a little bit more Venus bump so that when we trigger it, we get the free card. So, so far, so good. A science tag could be helpful. Orbital reflectors. Boom, baby. Into a colonizer training camp. My lord. All right. Well, let's get our Olympus conference and our colonizer training camp. And then if I sell a card, hmm... I don't have that. I'm, I'm thinking about ants. Ironworks is also high up. I'm going to sell the ironworks. And then, bam. Four steel production. We do love that. Imagine we get advanced alloys now. Come on. Manifest it. Manifest it. Uh, and we do need some help with the heat. So let's get the heat rolling. Rotator impacts will help us with Venus. Every other turn. Event for steel. I don't want an ox bumper. I like a science tag. And we actually do have a little bit of heat income is the crazy thing. I don't have enough titanium to play you. I've been grabbing too many cards. If I had more what? More steel? I could play the aquifer pumping, but I wouldn't have enough to actually use it. And everything else is just kind of chilling. So I think we'll hold on to our cash. How do we feel overall? We've only gotten 5 TR and no money production. We have no titanium, but we do have 4 steel, which isn't too bad. 
We don't have great like money backs or anything like that, but at least we have rotator impacts to help us with Venus. We have aqua for pumping for the ocean. We have some heat coming in, which is nice. Nothing for plants, but I guess the government can help us with that. So we do have four heat income plus the two energy. So we're in the, in the ballpark there. So I think we're economically a little bit weak, terraforming a little bit strong overall. I think we could win this game just as easily as we could lose it. So I wish I could give more than that. It's just kind of a middle of the pack run. Uh, we'll do an oxygen bump so we don't give up our free heat income. I do like a mole hole. I do like archaea bacteria. A mole hole is pretty great for us because I have all this steel. So first of all, we get this. Second of all, we get this. Then we take all the steel and we put it into the place over here. So now when we get green rays, we'll be in the pocket area. And just like that, we are missing a single dollar to get rotator impacts this turn, but I am going to sell a card to make it happen. I actually am going to sell the ants as well now. Because boom, now every other turn we're gonna get a Venus asteroid and that is going to be helpful. Um, one more bump of heat from the government will be helpful for lining us up for the next heat bump to give us this heat income. A corroder suit onto a Venus tag. I don't think we have any Venus things that are stacking. We could end up with some, but right now that's not really a thing. No, so I'm gonna just let it go. Uh, I think it's about time that we get started on the aquifer pumping. I must, I must say, I keep saying that we're gonna do it, but if we don't actually do it, then it never happens, so. Boom, I'm gonna start picking up plants, I think. Plants and then adjacencies for our uh, ocean placement or our green replacement off of this guy. Uh, oxygen, I think, is our weakest point right now. Venus Govna. Don't really have what we need for it. We could, though. It's just income, though, so I think we can let it die. Uh, an energy tag is really helpful right now. Because if I... Did I not take it? Oh, I did. Okay. Because if I play this energy tag, I can play this energy. Which is pretty, pretty good. So a couple heat bumps later. Well, I want the steel before anything. And annoyingly, I'm going to end up in a weird amount of cash. Because... I also would like this asteroid. So now this costs 14 and I can convert two energy for $2, but I'd still be a dollar shy. I picked up a lot of science tags that I never ended up needing, but if I got quantum extractor or any of the other good cards, then I'd be kicking myself for not having it. So what can I say other than we're going into gen, what, eight? A little bit more oxygen for the gang here. Shouldn't need this ocean. Shouldn't need it, but doesn't mean we won't take it. So the heat bumps continue. The Venus continues. I'm gonna place this green ray just for this adjacency for some steel and money back as I get the oceans the rest of the way over. And yeah, energy income seems pretty good to me. Card draw, invention contest, media group, more science tags now. I mean, this is the time to do it. Into algae, this is what I'm talking about. We normally wouldn't be able to play algae, but because we are in Ventrix, get a little bonus here. And just like that, our science kind of strategy gave us a little bit of value. Just a little bit of card springing. We have quite a bit of terraforming set up, so I don't feel too bad. Uh, heat's coming in pretty quickly. I might do a Venus bump here, just to get us within one of the bonus 
Quantum Extractor, love to see it right now. Uh, import from Venus, this is quite expensive, but now I'm going to have money back and a discount, so... The heat isn't done either. I think it really does work in our favor. So we'll do both those taps. We'll get our ocean thing here. Quantum extractor. I could turn energy into good times, but I will not. I will hold. I could get a lot more card draw. Three more cards for $10, but I'd really like to play that imported Venus stuff next turn. So, let's hold. Going into Gen 9, we're a little bit behind, but with a little bit of an oxygen boost. I think we're back in it. Research is nice. Luna Metropolis I don't need. Research Outpost just gets us over here or something. Uh, so, Venus. Boom, that gets us the bonus TR. Heat bump, heat bump. Still no trees, unfortunately, but... We are doing what we can. So, big research outpost over here. Small animals, less keen on that. Media group, Venus bumping. We could Atalanta now. I'd much rather just like plantation though and get like a big money rebate thing. Um, I can play small animals next turn and get the same number of points. I can let my energy turn to heat. Um, two productions left is enough for like three bumps. So letting my heat spill over still makes sense. My energy spill into heat that is. I mean this is pretty solid. Pretty solid. We're going to keep taking a little bit of help on the oxygen. Though everyone kind of needs it. Venus bumping. We love that. S something to do with Venus microbes. Might be helpful. You can get two bumps out of this. Two bumps out of this. Do I need um, steel? I mean, Hired Raiders is just like money back because it's an event it's the big asteroid that i don't think i need like one two three four if i just let my energy spill over i'm good i get money back on events so two of them like no it's just better not to take it i promise i promise laddie um, all right, one quick chance here at Atalanta. Oh, we did get research from it. Still. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure we want to play research right now. Like, I do in the last gen, almost certainly, but do I want to play it right now? Venus Magnetizer, almost certainly. Thermophiles with Freya Biodomes or Imported. Thermophiles. Freya Biodomes. Venus bump. Yeah, I think I just play the animals, the small animals, and that'll break point us in for some good stuff. So 13 plus 6 is 19, right? We just want to get to 24. So I should convert 4 of this energy back. No, like, metal, like, I got the four steel production, but no titanium production was painful. After so many runs of just being fine on the titanium front. I feel like I need, I need, like, what is it? 
I have three Venus bumps, I have three heat bumps, and I have a couple of oxygen bumps. Like, it's it's a tricky one. I don't see us getting another... Actually, I have this Venus bump, so I'm going to take a heat bump of all things. This could help. This is fun, but I don't think I need it. I don't have the money for it. So, like, this is a Venus bump. Uh, this is a Venus bump. Heat bump, heat bump. Uh, greenery for money. Oh, I didn't even notice I had the mangrove. Oopsie. Okay, business contacts I get money back on. Mars University is fun. Ecological zone is fun. Not sure that we can play them, but it's fun. It's fun, 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 fun. Animals... Ocean for a card. This is a Venus bump. So this is a Venus bump and an oxygen bump. Yeah, I mean, we are so tight right now for like all the things. We're coming in close. Ocean, last ocean. Uh, Venus bump, because we make money back on it. Hmm. Almost certainly we need these seven extra dollars. So does that mean that I have enough now to just at least play Mangrove? And then sell, sell, sell. Like, I can't play you. I really wanted all of you, but actually this might be a cheap point. Um, yeah, so greenery beside the city. And then, yeah, so many things are painful right now because, like, we are so close at least three dollars for one point is going to be good because it is a card draw as well and then i can sell every card for a rad suit but we're so close to getting a single plant and a single plant would have gotten us another greenery beside a city and we're off of 63 tr we only got 62. But hey, we terraformed the whole planet, and like, honestly, for the run we had, getting 86 points and still terraforming the whole planet, I think that's pretty impressive. I, I mean, that was a weak, it was a weak run. It said it was middle of the road, but then it stayed low luck for five, six more generations, and we just pulled out and stole a win. So I hope you enjoyed. Merry Christmas. I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.